first of all, uh, this this bill up to last Friday had very little input other than a few so a select few of people in the state of New Jersey. And the rush is incredible to get this bill through um, without really much more than a three-hour vetting in some committees last Friday. Uh, recently, this year, the corporate business taxes were raised to the tune of $210 million on all businesses in New Jersey. And now we're, we're looking to do the same thing we did in 2013 with a very similar bill. We ranked 50th in the state in business climate. And here we sit again at 50th in the state for business climate. It's like we just can't look at different avenues, different ways, look at success with what they've done. I'm going to give a real quick thumbnail description of what North Carolina did in 2013 in their state while we did what we did in the state today. They cut their corporate business tax. And as revenue rose, and it did rise, hit certain milestones, they cut it again. Their, their corporate business tax went from 6.9% and sits today at 2.5%. All businesses rise as a result of tax cuts for all. So everybody can equally enjoy a stronger business climate, hire more people, have a stronger economy for the state. In the meantime, they've pirated some of our business away from us without incentives as much as just they run a better business. Simply stated, lower taxes for all it is absolutely more successful approach. Our plan is like a carrot and a stick. We offer a few carrots to a select few, and we beat the rest of our businesses over the head with a stick by raising their taxes. Mr. Speaker, this bill is nothing more than a repeat of a similar bill from, from seven years ago. And it just makes me think of Einstein's quote that doing the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. I will not be supporting this bill, Mr. Speaker. And by the way, Merry Christmas to the few that will benefit by this bill. And I understand the rush. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.